If you're ready for 5G, join the club. The long-awaited and talked-about tech is here and making its debut with all of the major carriers. Now, I've already covered T-Mobile and Verizon, and you can see their 5G coverage over here, but today I'm going over AT&T's coverage. You'll find out where it is, how much 5G is available for you to use, and more. If you haven't yet, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and of course, turn on those notifications. I come out with videos every Wednesday and Friday, and I do a live video at 3 p.m. Pacific time every Monday. So what is 5G? Well, it's the newest and fastest mobile internet available today. Basically, it's the next generation of internet and faster than ever before, and theoretically can reach mobile speeds of one gigabit per second. So how much 5G coverage does AT&T actually have? My super tech guy, Supreme Spiny Pants Mike, did all the research and found that AT&T has a total of 6.15% 5G coverage in the United States. That translates into 222,000 square miles of 5G coverage. Now, when you think about it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but taking into account that AT&T is building a brand new network, not working off of its current network, 6% is fairly impressive. You also need to take into account that most 5G signals are short range. So building a new network means putting a bunch of 5G towers close together. So there's more logistical problems and a lot more engineering going into this than many people might realize. But you don't really care about all that, you want to use 5G, so I'll get to the point. There are a few places that have great 5G coverage with AT&T. They are New Jersey with 67% coverage, Delaware with 51%, Ohio with 41%, Rhode Island with 39%, Maryland with 33% coverage. Sorry, West Coasters, F you apparently. If we look at big cities that have a lot of people, the most populated cities with the most coverage are Sacramento with 99%, so I guess West Coasters aren't totally screwed, Columbus, Ohio, Baltimore, Maryland with 96, Tampa, Florida with 96, Kansas City, Missouri with 96, Indiana, Annapolis with 94, and Detroit, Michigan with 93. So where is 5G the worst? There is zero zip silch 5G in Alaska, Hawaii, North Carolina, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Vermont. Now you'll technically be able to use 5GE, which is AT&T's version of a fancy 4G. It's not really 5G. It's like if you're counting blonde people in the world. I kind of count, but not really, because my blonde is hashtag fake. AT&T's 5GE is like my blonde hair. Now this is potentially the worst example I've ever made in my life. Or is it the best? So if you're in a city that has 5G coverage, how can you use it? Well, you have to have a 5G capable phone because of how mobile technology works on different bands and frequencies. Most phones these days are not capable of connecting to a 5G network, which means you have to bust out the cash to buy one. We have a full list of 5G capable phones on our site. I'm linking to them in the description below. Next, you have to have an AT&T plan that allows you to connect to 5G. All of AT&T's unlimited postpaid plans offer free 5G access. So that's AT&T Unlimited Starter, Unlimited Extra, and Unlimited Elite. Now, if you're not on one of those plans or on a prepaid plan, you can access 5G by signing up for the Unlimited Plus on prepaid. Now, if you want to get 5G for the cheapest amount possible, you'd need to sign up for Unlimited Plus and make sure you sign up for auto pay. That would take $15 off your total monthly cost, taking the price down from 75 to 50. Or if you want a family plan, the cheapest option to access 5G would be AT&T's Unlimited Starter, which goes from 65 to $35 per line with four or more lines. Now, lastly, AT&T's MVNO Cricket Wireless will offer 5G to those who buy the Samsung Galaxy S20 5G. Now we're gonna move on to a quick comparison of 5G coverage from the three major carriers. Now we made it easy with a simple bar graph. T-Mobile has the most coverage with 30% 5G coverage in the United States. Then there's AT&T with 6%. Then Verizon comes in third for the time being with less than 1% coverage. At the moment, 5G is usable, but nothing to write home about quite yet. But as networks start getting the hang of creating their new networks, I think we'll quickly see 5G scaling up. And by this time next year, 5G will definitely be more widely available. 
Now, anytime there's a significant change in 5G coverage, you can bet your bottom I'll be updating this video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and of course, turn on the notifications so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV. I'm Sherry Riggs.